Hey everyone, I'm not a rock star, and this is Super Mario Galaxy. So, last time, we faced off with Bowser in Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, and won, saving Peach and the entire universe. So, this time, we're going to head back into our file, and check out the new purple comets that have landed everywhere. Oh. Welcome back. I knew you would return eventually. Please look down at your feet. This number you see represents the number of power stars you need to access another world. Whether you succeed or fail, just attempting the challenge will show something about your character. So, looking at the map here, the first purple comet has landed in the terrace. So, for the first time in quite a while, why don't we head back on in there? And let's see what planet we're revisiting. Looks like it's Good Egg Galaxy. Now, purple comets are an all-new type of comet. And this style of star is pretty common in 3D Mario games, I think. And we've got to do Purple Coin Omelette. That's such a weird stage name. So, as you can see, um, there's purple coins everywhere on these uh, little planets. And our goal is to collect 100 of them. So this is just like the 100 coin missions from Mario 64, but with purple coins and in all these different galaxies. So I believe in every level, or at least most levels, there's gonna be more than 100 purple coins. So you don't have to collect everyone, but there's no point missing out on them. Unless, like, you have good reason for it. So I'm not going to go through that launch star first, because there's purple coins on this planet that I want to get. And on our second go through, we can get those ones. So with those ones collected, we can head on to this next section. This classic Yoshi egg style galaxy, or planet follow this trail, and then this will lead us to the next launch star. Now, this purple coin mission is pretty simple, just following a few trails and checking out some, or just revisiting all of these old planets, but they get way more involved, trust me. So we've gone straight to this planet, now where was the launch star? It was right here. Now, we'll go on this launch star, um, and then we will take this alternate launch star to see what path it'll send us on. It's a path with 10 more purple coins, which is nice. So, I assume that the last 10 purple coins will be on this launch star's alternate pathway. And with that, we'll have our first star for the episode. Okay, for a second I thought I missed that. That would have been unfortunate. And there we go. Looks like we have to get all the way back to the first planet, though. Huh. Oh, wait, no, it looks like it's... What is that up there? Oh, that's just another launch, sorry, bet. Um, but if I remember, this was the last planet in the loop. Then we go right back to this first one, right? Yes, looks like it. So... There's the power star right up there, so why don't we go on and grab it? Okay. So that's the first one out of the way. Um, I assume the purple comet will just keep moving towards- Like, we'll keep moving between all of the galaxies in order. So I'm just gonna check the terrace immediately. And, oh, no, it's not here, okay. Well then, let's go check on what galaxy it is next. Well, I guess we won't be able to see what galaxy, but we'll be able to see what dome. Huh, according to this... Oh, it's really opened up. There's one in every area except the terrace, so why don't we head on to the fountain next? I feel like there... I honestly already forgot, but I think there were two more galaxies that weren't done 
in the fountain. And I think one of them is Battle Rock, the other might be Space Junk. Um, so I'm expecting it per there to be Purple Coin missions on both of those. Yeah, Space Junk and Battle Rock, I was right, nice. Oh, actually, those were the only two possible ones it could have been, because both of those are one-offs, and then the Bowser Galaxy doesn't have comets. So, I mean, I thought I was smart for a second, but really I was dumb, because I didn't realize. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to head into this, um, Space Junk Purple Comet, called Purple Coin Spacewalk. What areas are we going to be traversing? Oh, it's the... It's sort of like the... Um, first star. So that's cool. I feel like each of those bunches have like 10 coins in them. Yeah, because it's like a bowling pin design. Oh, we have two minutes for this? Okay. So we gotta get all the purple coins real fast. Okay, that... Okay, that was close. Okay, I'm going this way. There we go. That's a few more. And go this way to get this one. And then we'll sweep our way across the side here. Get this whole back row first, then we'll work our way back up, I think. So there'll be one more over here. Then we start going up. Okay. Just barely slipped off the edge, that's unfortunate. But this time we got it. We know what we're doing. Well, we knew what we were doing the first time, I guess, but... This time, we really know what we're doing. So we'll go here. Um, I'm gonna head this way. That's also death hole. Okay. Man, they love dropping those... I Well, I guess they love not dropping the blocks in front of me where I walk. Because I just expect there to be blocks there, but then there's not. I guess I shouldn't be expecting this level to be easy. It's technically post-game content. <laughs> Uh, we'll grab these over here. Long jump over here. It seems a diagonal long jump basically takes you from one to the other, so... There's not much risk in having to traverse the platforms. And there we go. We've hit 50. I'm being a bit more careful on these platforms because I slipped off this one specifically last time. Um, long jump about this way? Yeah. No, okay, I wanted to check if a spin could get the purple coins, but they can't, so. Okay, we have 90, which means that that one is the last one. We have our time. I'm just gonna carefully measure my long jump, don't want to miss it right at the end. And we have a minute to get back, so shouldn't be a problem. Make sure to long jump here, and spin at the end to just barely land on that platform, and make it with a minute and a second left. So, because I'm gonna have to be running back to the um, star map every time to see what new areas have opened up, I think I'm just gonna start cutting right to when I get to the stars. So I'll see you guys at the next purple star we ha- or er, purple coin star we have to do. Okay, so here we are in the terrace, and Honeyhive Galaxy has a purple comet. So in we go, I guess. I'm assuming this purple comet's gonna take place in the main air- I mean, like, the first place you land, because that's a pretty big open area, you can put a ton of purple coins in. Uh, yeah, looks like it, okay. Oh, for a second I was about- I was thinking really hard and I was like, is this place flipped? And no, this is how it normally is, I'm getting this confused with Golden Leaf. <laughs> uh, well- this area is a lot more open, so it's not quite like Space Junk and Good Egg where you have them all in your view right away. You have to actually sort of explore for them a bit. Speaking of, there was one little one hidden right there. So I think for open areas like this, these are ones with more than 100 purple coins. Because I feel like there are at least some levels with more than 100. Like, Battle Rock is one I'm very confident has more than 100. Um, and then these open world ones I would expect to have more than a hundred, just to be nice. But, who knows? They could be very mean because it's post-game, so... 
Um, also, you can go behind this thing. So, I gotta check back here. I'm pretty sure in the preview it showed there were some purple coins back here. Yeah. Okay. So, grab these. There's probably gonna be some up on this very top area, too. Uh, two. Yeah. That counts. Now, okay, I see a pipe over there, so I assume that's how we're supposed to get up to the higher levels. Yeah, okay, I see one down there. I was gonna go through the pipe, but I realized I should probably check back here. Um, anything down in this section? Uh, just a lot of these leech thingies, so no. Okay, well, let's go into the pipe and hope it takes us somewhere useful. Oh wow, it brings us all the way over here. Okay. Well, I mean, this is somewhere useful, so I can't complain. Okay. And there we go. There's just a one-up chilling right here for some reason. And there we go, we've hit 40 purple coins already. Which is pretty good. I just have no idea how to get to the upper sections of the level. Because... I was thinking there'd be, like, a bee suit somewhere, or this, um, pipe that we got to would take us there. But I guess not. Or maybe this pipe will take us here. Uh, no, that just brings us up here. So how do we get to the higher-up sections? Also, there's the Starbit M, I guess I'll grab that. Because I can't- I wouldn't be able to make that long jump. Those areas are just blocked. Uh, maybe kill a piranha plant, and it makes a vine? Huh. No? Where do you go? Or, well, I know where to go, I don't know how to get there, though. Cause there's- oh, uh, there's no way you can just, like, backflip up there. Yeah, that's close, but not close enough. Hmm. I think I'll just cut to when I figure this out, because I'm kind of stupid and this'll take forever. Huh. There was like a squid. Okay then. Well, I died. That's unfortunate. It's all these things I can smash, but they don't do anything. Oh. That one does something? Okay. Well, um, I found how to do it. You just break that one specific breakable block, which is kind of dumb. But I have to recollect all the purple coins first, because I died. So, <laughs> I'll cut once again to that. Okay, I've gotten all 42 purple coins back, so let's head on up to the new area. Oh, no. Why? The vine just cuts off halfway, so I was spam shaking to get through the whole thing. But then when you get off the vine, it flings you, so then you're in midair, so then you can do a normal spin. But then, because you do the normal spin, it messes up your flight path, and then you die. That is very poor design. I guess I'll see you back once more!
Okay, I have 42 purple coins once again, and I'm going to do very careful swings. There we go. Okay, I'm not dying again. Oh. Oh. No. Okay. That purple coin was a mess to get. <laughs> You had to just, like, barely bounce off this side of that spring to avoid the block. And- oh, they want me to walk up here. Okay. This is how I die. Oh. Okay. Mm, there we go. All good. Um, I guess I'll do this. I probably need to go over there at some point. Uh, let's grab this one coin over here. I'm still looking for a bee suit. It has to be somewhere in the level. Also, this is a horrifying coin. Because if I fall off, I'm pretty sure I'm going straight into the void. Okay. Yeah, so game, if you want to throw, like, a bee suit at me at any point, that would be very nice. I would like it a lot. It would make getting coins like these a bit less horrifying. Well, I guess these ones aren't bad, because there's, like, a, a protective wall. But, it would make a lot of these purple coins less horrifying. So whenever you want to do that, uh, it'd be appreciated. But for now, we will go over here. Because I think this is the only other place we can go right now. Uh, ground pound that. There's a few purple coins here. Oh. Oh, what? There we go. Grab this one. Bop, bop. Does the bee suit want to appear up here? Come on. Oh, I have to go up there too. Okay. Got this whole level loves putting me in spots where I'm very close to dying. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore those for a second, because there's totally a bee suit uh, up, up here. Um, there's totally a bee suit over here. Why is there no bee suit? This is Honey Hive. That's like the whole thing about Honey Hive. Is that it's the bee suit level. Come on. Okay. Oh, the camera. Okay, there's one down there. How? What what even do you do once you get down there? How do you not die? Okay, there's ground over there I guess you can maybe somehow get to. Okay, camera. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, there's three coins back here. And then this will lead over to the slide. Oh, that means I'll have to go back up on the vines, okay. I'll just have to use my patented strategy of careful falling, or careful swinging. No, no, not missing a coin, not going through this again. Okay. There we go. Oh, this purple coin level is horrifying. I'll say it once and I'll say it twice. There, oh, I missed the purple coin over there, I have to do that again? Okay. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, I have to get those too. Okay, I'll get those later. I don't need to grab those now. Uh, take me up. Now, there was a coin behind this tree I saw. I thought there was only one, but the camera was hiding the second one. Okay, now we just have to backtrack. Then we can get to where we were and continue doing more precarious death jumps for some purple coins. 
Uh, and this isn't even one of the ones I remember sucking. Because I did a few of these purple coin missions. My star count, like, on my playthrough before I stopped was 111. So I did get some... Like, I did quite a few of these purple coin missions. But there were a few that I just did not... <laughs> I, I was just done by that point, I guess. Also, where am I jumping? Come on, make it, make- Oh, okay. I thought I missed that jump, and I was like, I'm gonna have to do that all again. Because I couldn't really tell where I was landing with that. Oh, there was also a purple coin up there I needed to get, and that's what was supposed to guide me down there. So I have to go up again. God, I'm not doing too great at being efficient in this level. Uh, but there- Oh. There's a few purple coins along this pathway, and hopefully I have two left, or three left, but there's three purple coins that way. No, I can't get up there. Come on. Maybe if I have a bit of speed. No. Okay, then I just need to pray. Okay. Yeah, that was fine. Now... This slide down here, I feel like, had three purple coins on it, so is that all I need? Yes, okay, there we go. That level's horrifying, and it's done. Also, this is another case of I have no idea how long this episode is. So, we're gonna do, like, two more stars, maybe. <laughs> and hopefully this episode doesn't go insanely long, like episode 18. So we'll see you guys at our next star. Oh, it is a letter from Luigi. Okay. Um, bro, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows where I am. Help me. So Luigi is in Honey Hive Galaxy. So, I mean, we were gonna do a purple coin, but why not go and do that right about now? Like, I was wondering when this star appeared, because I knew there were three Luigi stars. And... When I realized I'd been neglecting Luigi forever, I thought both of his stars would be available. So I thought I was gonna have to fit them both into episode 18, but luckily I only had to do one, because we've got the other one right about now. So he was on a tree, up in like the second area. Yeah, he's up on that, that tree right there that is now gone. That one, I believe. So my first thing is I want the bee suit because that'll help me get up there easy. Hello, I know. I've been here. So we gotta head up here, get this coin. Uh, do not get grabbed by leeches in front of a death rock. Well, it's not a death rock. It's pain rock. But there we go. Bee Shroom has spawned. Now we can get up to Luigi. Uh, bop. Now, fly up here. Do not hit the waterfall. Then we can go here. And go around here. Is this- do I have enough light? Yes! And there's Luigi. Hey bud, you wanna come down? It's me. Oh yeah, I just have to <laughs> jump on his head. Ow, 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 Oh! Hey bro! I hid because of that big scary bug. I found a power star, so let's go home. Yeah. Oh, he found a regular power star, it's not even a green one. Hmm. I thought he always made green stars. Or, he didn't make green stars, but I thought he always found green stars. Well, whatever. Uh, but now I think we're going to actually <laughs> cut to un the next purple coin star. So, I will see you guys right there. Well, I guess it's time to visit Dreadnought Galaxy once again with purple coins on the Battle Rock. Yes, that was a joke. <laughs> so this is the one that I'm pretty confident has more than 100 stars, or more than 100 purple coins, because this is on a moving section. So if there's not more than a hundred purple coins, that's kind of scary, because then if you miss one, you're screwed. So I'm going to collect everyone 
um, very intensely like there's more than a, like there's only a hundred, but I'm just gonna hope that there is more than a hundred, so I don't need to be perfect. Also, um, one thing I wanted to mention but kind of didn't really find time to is you can crouch under this. I showed it during the Luigi star in Battle Rock, and I <laughs> and that just further proves my theory that you don't even need to go to the bottom side. Like, you can just jump over all the laser gates, duck under that one. It's kind, of, it's kind of sad. Because the whole point is, like, you're supposed to be flipping up and down, dodging the cannons and all that. But you can kind of just stand in one place most of it, then occasionally backflip. See, it's even making you jump over these laser gates. It knows that this level sucks. Huh. Well... We gotta jump over that one, that's a very hard jump. Totally. Oh! No, 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 I'm not missing that one, I'm not missing that one. I'm missing that one, okay. Well, let's hope I don't have 98 <laughs> purple coins at the end. I have 98 purple coins at the end. Okay, then you need perfection. Okay. 99? Ah, I feel for you, I really do. But maybe you don't have what it takes. See you later! And then he just dies out of shame. Okay. Well, yeah, this one sucks, I guess. <laughs> you can't miss one coin. And of course, I missed one right at the end. Uh, so I'll probably just speed this up, too, just like with the Luigi Star, because I don't think you want to see this moving section again. Ah, there we go. Perfection. Only took three tries. So, it wasn't too bad. But there we go, that's our... third... purple coin star. I know numbers. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say we're going for a fourth. <laughs> I don't know how long this episode is, hopefully it's not too long. But I'll see you at the next star! Okay, so apparently there's no purple comets available right now, so now I guess is a good time to show off this guy. Hey ho, if you need to know anything about prankster comets, I'm your Luma. How can I help you? Move it! Wanna move that prankster comet? Well, have I got a deal for you. Right now, for only 20 star bits, I'll fling it somewhere else. Sure. Okay, let me have it. So you feed him 20 star bits. Ooh, delicious. Now that I'm all happy and full, I'm feeling a little more motivated. Ahem, snack-a-dee, snack-a-day, snack-a-diddly-doo. And then he moves the prankster comets, so now they're available once again. So I guess I'll see you in the kitchen for whatever galaxy has a purple comet. This time, it's Beach Bowl Galaxy, and it's time we go beachcombing for purple coins. So yeah, obviously this one takes place in the beach bowl. There's not much else of a place to put it. And I hope there's not too many coins underwater. Looking for the coins underwater sounds like a massive pain. So first thing I'm gonna do is go on all of these little boardwalk things to all these little islands. And I'll get these purple coins while I'm at it. I need to swing more slowly for these. Get these ones. And now I need to get swinging really fast to go around and get those. Okay, uh, yeah, I grabbed those. Let's continue on this way. Um, oh. Uh, you have to bounce on this guy's head for the one coin, but I can't land on his head. Ooh. Does he just have, like, a force field on top of his head that makes it impossible to land? Ooh. Come on. Let me bounce on you. 
There we go. That was an intense struggle. No, I don't want the shell. Okay, grab that purple coin, then we'll continue along this pathway. Go this way. Land the most epic jump you've ever seen from one platform to another. And then do the same thing repeatedly. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. This should be the last little island that has coins, then we'll head more up top onto the actual land section. There's those two, and we have 49, so just under half of them were all found in that sort of shore segment. So let's head on higher up. Why? Why do you have to be here? Well, looks like we gotta use the spring. Um, there's a few coins in this little shallow area. Mario. Okay. Water controls continue to be a pain. There's one over by that rock, and there we go. Also, camera, turn. Oh, okay, I guess you don't want to turn, that's fine too then. Okay, before we head up to the upper section, I want to make sure we get everything down here so we don't have to come back down. Oh, there's coins up there. You probably need the spring for that, though. I don't know how to get up on that tree. Okay, how do you get up onto that? Just, uh, jump? Yeah. Okay. Now if we do some nice swing in... You can miss that one coin. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we gotta go swing in some more. Okay, there we go. Make sure to swing extra high. And there we go. Now we just have to land a jump on there. Okay, there we go. That was a lot easier than I expected. I expected that to take many tries. But now, we have to grab my arch-nemesis, the spring. Well, I think it's just this game's arch-nemesis. Like, it's not <laughs> too great of a power-up. Oh, I see a shadow of a coin there, so I'll have to grab that after. Okay, that's one coin. Really? They put one back there? Oh, okay. Oh. No. I really should have gotten this before I became Spring Mario. What? What? I was alive for a second. <laughs> well then, guess I'll cut to when I have all those coins again. Okay, I'm back. I got all the ones we... I got all the ones I had before I died, and I also took the liberty of grabbing this one. Because <laughs> that one is annoying. So I see these two... Um, coins up here, and I feel like they'd be annoying to get with the spring. So I'm gonna grab these right now. Uh, oh. And then while I'm up in the trees, might as well see if I can grab the others without the spring. Oh. Okay, well. Can you climb up the trees? No. Okay, well, I guess it's springtime then. Hmm. Pop that crystal open. And bounce up here. Grab that. Then bounce up here to grab these two. Oh, okay. Now, we have to get to the upper section, I guess, because there's still 25 coins to grab. But I don't exactly know how to get up there. Because this would be, like, way too wide to jump against, so I might be able to just jump up. Oh, the waterfall. Really? <laughs> okay, then. I was just trying to jump and grab this little purple coin, and then the waterfall grabbed me and said, No, you will not grab this today. So I guess I have to jump, like, directly below it. Yeah, okay. And I still lose the spring for that. Okay, can I jump up here? Yes, that is high enough. Now, first goal is get in the water. 
to remove my spring. Ah, there we go. Tight movement. The best thing in a platformer. And I think that's just the sole reason why the spring sucks so much. It's just so awkward to control, and you need tight movement in a platformer. Oh, I needed the spring to get up there. Okay, hopefully there's another spring I can grab up here so that I don't have to go back down. Okay, hopefully I can also backflip up here so I don't need the spring. Looks like I need the spring. Okay, what if I get up on this little post here? Nope. Am I on something? Really? Why? Just let me not use the worst power-up in the game. There's purple coins in the water. Well, I'm grabbing the purple coins in the water right about now. I've basically collected all of the purple coins up to this point anyways, so... Hello, welcome back. Uh, there's purple coins in the water, have you heard? <laughs> Ah, uh, this is about the worst thing that could have happened to this level. It was already so annoying. And remember that time I said that the levels- there were, like, a few that I didn't like, but everything else is really good? Yeah, purple coins happened. Like, I don't think these levels are a bad idea. I think they're, like, pretty good. Because it's levels that probably aren't that difficult to make. You just kind of use your already made assets and stick some coins in them. But just the fact that there's 20 of them just dumped on us at once makes it kind of, like, not that great. <laughs> because it's just doing the same thing over and over again, just in different areas. And I kind of think it would have been better if they just sprinkled some purple coin levels throughout the game instead of dumping them all at once. And then at the end of the game here, when it was, like, time for the comet shower to happen. It was just, like, a rainbow of different, um, comets that you could do. And there was- and there's just, like, a bunch of variety you can choose from, and it would be very nice like that. But they just decided to stick all the purple comets at once, and... I can already feel it starting to get tedious, which <laughs> isn't a good sign, considering we're- we haven't even done half of them. Oh! Okay, we're gonna grab these again, somehow, maybe, one day. There we go. Then... Oh, I already grabbed that one, okay. Now we head over here, grab this one at the waterfall. Oh! Okay, I didn't lose my power up for a second, then I jumped into the... <laughs> then I jumped into the waterfall. And once we get up here, the first thing I have to do is apparently not get rid of the spring. Because why would I think to do that? But I'm just going to grab um, these coins up here because that needs the spring. Then I'm going to go up here and get these coins because this needs the spring. And then I'm gonna go down and grab all of the rest of the coins like a normal person. Because the spring equals bad. Okay, there could be purple coins up there and there was a tree back behind me that there could be purple coins on. Yeah, there's purple coins on here, of course. Okay, there's that one. And there's that one. Camera. Um, I don't see any purple coins on there. Let me just do, like, a jump up. Yeah, there's no ones there. Okay. So I should be able to get rid of the spring now. And then I can grab these coins in peace. Hopefully there's ten coins up here and I didn't miss one in the water or back down there. Because I kind of want to just be done with this level. It's 93, 94, 95. It looks like I missed... One coin! Oh god, where could that be? It could be <laughs> literally anywhere. There's no, like, coin tracker in this. 
Oh, okay. Um, it could be a coin I know the location of and just kind of forgot. Oh, okay, I just missed one on this tree right here. Oh, 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 that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so now we can grab the star and hopefully we never have to deal with the spring ever again. Because I can't think of any other stars that use it, but also, I haven't done some of these levels, so I don't know. But with that star done, I think we're gonna end things off here. So, next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to continue taking on these purple coin missions, and getting closer towards the true end of the game. So, see you guys then.